Hi everyone, it's Marta from Art of Mobile. As you can see, today is pretty foggy and there's some beautiful fall colors behind me, but I can't get the photos I wanted. As we know, weather is a factor. It doesn't matter, you make the most of what you have. Speaking of beautiful photos, Adrian McCary has some glorious photos of the ocean that I'm very envious of his location. My question for you today, Adrian, is how often do you get to spend at the ocean and how long does it take you to compose one of your photos? Thank you, Marta. And hello, everybody. I'm Adrian McGarry, an iPhone photographer and iPad artist. And I'm extremely fortunate to live in North Wales, within walking distance of a magnificent coastline and a short drive from some of the most spectacular scenery in the UK. From sandy shores to rugged coves, there truly is no shortage of creative inspiration here. And I regularly photograph on our local beaches. Marta, I think preparation is important for all landscape photography, especially the continually changing environment of the coast with variations of land, tide, sky and weather. If I plan to visit a particular location, I'll check the weather forecast in advance and also the timings and angles of the sun. Most especially sunrise and sunset for getting those golden hour shots. Another crucial factor I check for are low and high tide timings. Once on the beach, I'll look for points of interest. This may be rock formations, rock pools, reflections, on man-made objects such as sea defences like wooden groins, lighthouses, or even the movement of the waves themselves. Once I have my chosen for you points and angle, I keep fingers crossed in the hope that Mother Nature provides the light, clouds and atmosphere for my image. And if it doesn't all come together today, well, there's always a possibility of a return visit tomorrow.